Hello everyone. So now we'll see one more system monitoring activity. We call it as a lock and trace, which we use the transaction code SM12. So by this transaction, we monitor the master data or transaction data that is locked exclusively for a particular SAP user ID for performing modifications at that point of time. In such case, other users who are trying to access the same data set will be stopped by the NQ service giving information of the data being locked by the user ID. So if you see, when you use the transaction SM12 and when you go inside, you will first see that screen select lock entries, where you need to define the table name, uh, lock argument, client and username. But as a SAP is concerned, you don't know what table name, lock argument, so just you need to give the client and username as a star. And then once you click on the execute list, it will give you the screen as shown below, lock entry list. So in this list, you can see at the point of time in plant 170, users who had exclusively accessing data set in SAP for which others cannot modify. So the related table and other information which is provided also the time from when this was locked. So if you double click on that table, you will get like this details about that lock entry. Okay. So this is how you can see who is the owner of that lock table and how you have to process with this lock entry. If you want to delete the lock, how are you going to delete the lock? Before delete the lock, you need to escalate to the user saying that you have locked that entry and the other user cannot able to enter it. If you have done, then you can come out from that lock entry. So there are basically three types, three types of locks. We call it as a shared, exclusively, and exclusive but not cumulative. What is shared lock? When several users can access the same data at the same time in display mode, we call it as a shared lock. What is exclusively lock? This is these are nothing but used to avoid parallel modification of the data, which means that exclusively locked data can be displayed or modified by only one user. Similarly, the last one, exclusive but not cumulative. This can only be called once, so a lock request will be rejected if an exclusive lock already exists. So this is uh, these are the types of locks in the lock entry. Thank you so much.